He was a guy who worked with our in-studio guest right now, Mike Deani, last year. Uh, Coach, how are you doing this morning? Doing well, Sully. Thanks for having me on, man. No problem, no problem. Had, had to get you on here. got to talk about this pitching staff for the Spartans and uh, what's been going on with them the last two weeks or so. A uh, couple of sophomores, Bobby Spicer and um, Billy Crowell, Jules Masella. How has this staff come together, and, and where did this kid Spicer come from? Yeah, I mean, uh, well, you know, we the, uh, the coaching staff here. Um, you know, we we always knew uh, that we they had it they had it in them, and uh, you got to realize uh, all three guys that you mentioned are, are sophomores, uh, and so that we took our lumps early on. But uh, the so- sign of uh, a great player is, is the ability to adjust and uh, learn learn from any failures or mistakes early on, and uh, that's exactly what those guys have done. Uh, a guy like Bobby Spicer, uh, you know, he's a dream to coach. He's, uh, um, you know, his attitude, his work ethic, uh, his dedication, um, you know, is second to none. And uh, he, he's done a great job for us. Uh, I think three runs uh, this whole postseason, uh, one being an earned run. And uh, that's just a testament to, to the character of, of those three guys. Uh, Billy, same thing. Um you know, he's a guy that works hard at it. You know, we didn't have the success that we we're hoping for early on with him. Um, but, you know, you, it, it's a game where you have to adjust. And uh, we've done some little things along the way. But, uh, you know, I can't take credit for, for most or any of it, really. Those those guys uh, have the right attitude. And, and uh, you know, a kid like Masella coming in in the late innings, he's just really, um, you know, grasped and, and – uh, He's really just loved the role that, that we put him in uh, here as the, the closer, and uh, he, there's not a better guy uh, mentally for, for that spot. He's uh, he's a bulldog, and uh, we feel very confident giving him the ball uh, late in the game. Why not take all the credit? You're the pitching coach. Come on, coach. <laughs> uh, we I'll tell you what we we have one of the best staffs in the country. Uh, you know, with Soif and and, and Book and. Uh, and, and and Normain, you know, Normain's done an unbelievable job. He's uh, he's one of the, the the best coaches I've ever been around. You know, he's still still a young coach, uh, and um, you know, just his dedication, knowledge of the game, and and he and and all the guys, um, the the whole staff, general gen, genuinely cares about uh, the players here, and uh, it's a, it's a great thing to be a part of. And I think, uh, you know, the, the success here as of late is is a testament to that. We're talking with uh, Jason Downey, pitching coach over there at Holy Spirit. The Spartans are going to be on their way up to Tom's River this afternoon to play in the uh, state championship game against Newark Academy. Um, yeah, Coach, you, you mentioned Coach Normain. Uh, a lot of people may not know he was a, a real big star uh, at Rutgers University, so he brings that that Division One knowledge to the to the staff. And um, you know, obviously, Coach Soif has been around forever. I think about he's been coaching about eighty five years now. <laughs> But uh, sure, sure. What, what, what's it like having that coaching staff? We have that nice mix of uh, an older guy like Soif who, who really understands how to be a head coach, and how much has that added to, to Coach Normain and, and his ability to really bring things together there in the last two years? Well, it's great. I mean, we, I, I look forward to waking up every day and working with those guys. Uh, Dan Koya also, also uh, working with us this year. Um, you know, we, we've just got a dynamite staff, uh, the knowledge, uh, you know, and, and different styles, too, that all, uh, you know, work together. And, uh, you know, th- there's a few times that they don't work together, but for the most part we're, uh, we're, we're moving in the same direction and uh, we're on the same page. And Steve does a great job of, uh, you know, making sure, you know, everyone's got a voice and we take everything into account. So it, it's it's been, you know, it's just been great to be a part of, uh, you know, a great group of coaches, but not not only coaches, but they're they're great people as well. So, mm-hmm. I, I think a lo- what a lot of what really goes unnoticed a lot of times when you have a great pitching staff or guys who are being really successful as pitchers, uh, and I wrote about this in my last issue, a story about all the great catchers that are out there in the Cape Atlantic League. And uh, talk a little bit about that. You know, you have your own guy, uh, Matt Marsick, over there. He, he's been a real nice receiver for you, handling that pitching staff. And some of these other guys, like Steve Hewa over at Apsagami, Lofflad at uh, Mainland. You got Jeremy West down there at Ocean City. So, really, a great crop of catchers this year in the Cape Atlantic League. And, and how important have those guys been to seeing this great pitching in the Cape Atlantic League this year? 
Oh, absolutely. You know, the, the, the catchers, uh, you know, it's a huge, uh, huge job, you know, basically quarterback and the, the defense and, uh, you know, controlling the pitcher. And sometimes, that, sometimes that's tough. Uh, you know, being a pitcher myself, I know that we have egos and, uh, you know, when you want to, you want to reach back and throw a fastball at times, you, you know, you got to take, uh, the approach of, Hey, you know, let, let's throw a breaking ball or throw, go with that change up, uh, you know, and not rely solely on the, uh, you know, that fast, that, that uh, lightning fastball. So, but Matt, Matt, he's done a great job for us. He's, um, you know, he's a guy that I wouldn't say, um, you know, is the most talented, but again, works his butt off, uh, and, and has done a great job for us down the stretch, uh, in, in really has, has impressed us, uh, you know, big time down the stretch here. Uh, and he's done a great job. You know, it's not easy having the young pitching staff uh, like we do with, with Bobby and, and, and Billy and Jules, um, you know, so, so having a guy out there that you trust and uh, having a good relationship, good working relationship. He's got a great demeanor back there. And uh, he, he really has, uh, you know, done a great job with our staff. Uh, what about today? Break it, break it down real quick. Are you guys going to throw Billy Corral today? Yeah, we're going. We're going with Billy today. Uh, he he pitched tremendously against Gil St. Bernard, and uh, you know one of the things with Billy is he's he's a power arm guy uh, and, and loves to reach back and really throw it. And I think something he's learned uh, throughout the course of the season is you know he has to pitch. Uh, it's it's not about reaching back all the time. He's uh, he's got di- uh, you know a couple different pitches that we can mix in, and uh, so when he pitches, uh, he does a great job. Uh, and, and you know, I, I let him reach back and throw uh, <laughs> throw that hard one every once in a while. So, uh, but but he's done a great job, and we're very very confident in him. Uh, obviously, the off season accolades, uh, you know, speak for themselves, and he he's done a great job for us. Uh, again, the, the early on, uh, I think he was frustrated um, not having the success, and and it was not just you know our pitching staff. You know, we were figuring some stuff out defensively. Um, and our defense has really helped us and have, has played great down the stretch as well, uh, especially that last game. Uh, you know, I was a little worried, you know, the, the zone the zone in that game was, was very, very tight, and Bobby did a great job of just pitching the contact and, and letting our defense work, and they did a great job. Nice. Uh, Jason Downey, uh, pitching coach over there at Holy Spirit, joining us. Thanks for a few minutes, Coach. Good luck today. We'll see you up there in Tom's River. Absolutely, Sully. Thanks, man. You do a great job with Glory Days. All right. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. You got it. That was Coach Downey from Holy Spirit Baseball.